Hello there. Um, for those that don't know me, my name's Steve, and I'm coming to you from Art for Everyone. Um, and today we are going to be making a little hamster. So you might have um, your little hamster box, which uh, is all what you'll need to make up to three hamsters. Or I was thinking you could have like actually um, quite a few more if you made smaller size. But we're going to make three of uh, this size hamster. Here's one I made earlier. Um, so this, um, you've got three main colours in here and uh, a couple of other bonus colours there. We'll see what we can do with those later. And this is actually, um, this pack has been inspired by Hannah. Uh, it's her birthday, so I think she might be the first one to be doing this, um, uh, this hamster making plasting workshop with me. Uh, so hope you enjoy it, Hannah. Um, for those who are watching this after Hannah, um, then I hope you enjoy it too. Uh, but yeah, let's see how we get on. So um, I've got a little board to be working on. Wet wipes are always handy. Um, I've also got my phone here with, see there, I've got a little picture of a hamster. Now I've got a feeling that you might have a hamster at home. Uh, if not, you're gonna have a hamster at the end of this, or if not three hamsters. So <clears throat> you've got this little heart in here as well. This, uh, this, the original time when I'm doing this video, we're quite close to Valentine's Day. So you could have your little hamster holding a little heart like this or something. You could write a little message and give that to someone. Um, but yeah, so we've got this one with this kind of light browny colour you'll find in there. It's a bit hard to see with the light there, but you'll, you'll see what I mean. You've got a terracotta, you've got a grey, and you've got this light um, beigey colour. Then you've got the pink, you've got some dark brown, they call that stone colour. Um, did I say dark? Yeah, dark brown. Then you've got light brown. And you've got a turquoise, you've got an orange, you've got a lilac, and you've got this little bag here of some wires, and a black and a white. Um, and you've also got this handy little tool in there, which we're going to use that, I'll show you as we go on. So, like I say, I've done the little light brown one here, um, as I was making him beforehand. Um, looking at my pictures and stuff I've come up with how I'm going to make this one uh, it might be slightly different but um, that's how it there's no set way exactly so it's about enjoying yourself um, enjoying the process that's what it's all about so we're going to go with a little grey hamster now in my research for doing this um, little workshop I was amazed at all the different colours hamsters can be. Um, I'm sure you already know that, but yeah, I was, and there was uh, long-haired ones, and uh, short-haired, and grey, and terracotta, all the, the colours we've got, and many more beyond. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all of the grey, and I'm just going to take off three tubes though, like this, yeah? So all of the rest, you see all of there, I am going to squish up. Now, for those that, if you don't, of you that have done this plast scene before, you'll know that the squishing and the squashing is a very important part of the process. So you might find it easier to do one little lot at a time. Um, I'm gonna do double-handed. So, yeah, this um, plasticine is the same stuff that they use um, for the Aardman films. Um, unfortunately, you know, the factory that actually makes this stuff is, is uh, the owners have, are retiring and they couldn't find a new owner. So it's a little bit worrying, but there are some alternatives that I'm exploring 
because I obviously want to carry on doing the plasticine um, workshops and stuff um, but yeah I don't think it's quite as good and not such a good variety as of colors as what new plast does at the moment so I've squashed up these two they're starting to soften up now the grays quite soft the um, the beigey color that's pretty soft as well I think out of those three main colors the terracotta is probably the slightly harder one if it is hard you can always um, put it on a radiator for a little while and um, that will help soften it up you might see um, it's no good me going like that <laughs> you need the camera don't you but you can just see the first row of the um, cubs and scouts I did with lots of different groups in lockdown now I've put these two lumps together now because they're both softened up so it's easier now to <clears throat> to soften it all up together so yeah one hand good stress relief this I hope my camera isn't bouncing about too much it's on it's on my laptop and this table's slightly I think it's okay I'll try not to go like that too much <laughs> get you seasick watching this okay so we've got our nice soft bit of clay like this now bit of plasticine and what I've noticed is with these hamsters they're almost like a little they're like a little ball aren't they they're they're very cute obviously um as I say, I did the the other. Now I'm making a kind of pear shape, you can see there. Um, again, I'm going to do like standing up sort of pose, sitting up like this. Ooh. Um, very cute, as I say. So, yeah, starting off with this kind of pear shape, you see. We've still got these three bits here. We'll, we'll come to that. Now, just kind of... Do, do, do. like this and then I'm kind of happy with that now so little pear shape like that now the next thing I think the first thing we'll do is the little face yeah so I've taken one tube here I'm going to break that in half and I'm just going to squish, squish. And decide where the front of your face is going to be. And I'm just going to put, I've made these into two sort of small ball shapes. And just put them on like that, which kind of as I kind of blend that together it kind of gets the cute little face see as I'm kind of I'm just use my thumb to blend this together like so I'm going to squish see looks a bit um, with this colour as well it's reminding me a bit of a a warus <laughs> for some reason at the moment we don't want a warus this is hamster making so I'm just blending blending nice the whole thing of blending is that the the whole um, model will be a lot stronger if it if they're blended into each other you won't have bits falling off so you can see there it's kind of blended mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to use it. I'm just going to snap off a little bit, just like, just a little bit like this. Just squidge that a little bit. This is going to be for the little jaw underneath. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. There we go. Yep. So I've just kind of put that under there, like a little um, 
circle really and then kind of put it under now at the moment, I think one of the, the things that makes creates this into a hamster is the ears so we'll get to that in just a second um, now in your pack as well you've got I'm gonna get my um, the wet wipes out but when you've been using the gray or something especially just keep remind yourself to keep um, your fingers clean just because then you, the colors will stay nice and bright and sharp you won't get them blending into each other I'm just getting that little I've got my camera here <laughs> looking at the little so we go for this at the moment okay I think slightly in a little bit might be a little bit wide I'm just squeezing it in it's just kind of pressing getting it so I think I'm happy with that now I'm gonna get in here you've got the pink can't quite see that on the camera I don't think but you'll see it's two squares of four of the tubes of the pink now I know the pink is slightly harder the batches seem to come out different colors seem to come out different um, sort of some are softer than others but I've got a little bit like this and I'm just gonna squidge this now this will be I'm gonna do the nose just to define that a little bit so I'm just pinching off a little bit like that and we'll just might even be too much let's have a little look and I'm just shaping this into like kind of like a little heart shape can you see it quite tiny and I'll stick that on to the front like this now I'm going into my little packet here there's <clears throat> a, my, a main wire let's drop them all out there's a thicker wire and then there's um, these there's three of the sort of medium wires and there should be six of the little thin wires now I put the three medium wires because I thought we might put on the head separate but actually I think it's good to have it all as one so I'm going to actually use the medium wire for a little bit of um, model um, for doing the modeling so I'm just doing a little mouth here you see try and do a little smile and then I'm going to use one of the, the really thin little wires just to do a couple of little nostrils like that you see there hmm okay getting there I think I think the ears are going to make it once that will make it more hamster like <laughs> takes a bit of time doesn't just instantly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try actually pinching each ear out now so from the top just using my thumb my finger there it's gonna that's sort of coming out like that I'm just gonna shape oh yes you know what it's like I said the ears make a big there's one ear suddenly it's looking more hamster like straight away so another pinch here or ear as you might say less of a joke steve okay <laughs> um right now 
I think there is a kind of like hard to curling over a bit. It's just kind of shaping. So, like this. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to get another bit of this pink, just clean my fingers again, and just put a little bit in the inside of the ears, and look at my hair. <laughs> um, just going to pinch off a little bit of like on the end of my thumb there. And I'm going to put this in the inside of the ears because I believe they have, looking at this one that I'm looking at, I think they probably, you do get a bit of sort of pinkiness in the ears, I'm sure. If not, this is my version of. So as you can see, see I'll put that in there. Just gives a bit more One, see like this. And I'm going to pinch off another little bit. Little goes quite a long way. Each of these colours really. So just kind of shape it to what your ear is, and then put it in nice and thin. Yeah, we put that in. Yep, that's good. And we're kind of curling it round as well like that ah oh, i know what we'll make him now I, I must i did have a hamster many years ago when i was a kid and um a very imaginative imaginative name we called him we called him hammy <laughs> I'm picked, picking off another little bit here. But what I remember about Hammy, I'm sure if you've got a hamster, you'll you'll know the same. Um, they eat, don't they? They get their sunflower seeds and stuff. And they put them in. And their cheeks go bigger and bigger and bigger. And, yeah, it was amazing how much... You just keep giving him the, um, the sunflower seeds. And it's just getting bigger and bigger, the cheeks. So what I'm going to do, that's reminded me. So where it's a bit... From this, um, I've still got this mount. I'm pinched off a little bit here, and I'm just gonna put it on the side of his mouth there, just to kind of puff out the cheeks a bit, because I think that's what does define a hamster a bit. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. So there's just one, and I'm just gonna pinch off another little bit. Yeah, put that on the other side here. He's got to have his big cheeks, hamster cheeks. Now, you can get all clay modeling tools, but you know what they say? The best tools are these for modeling. One thing. It's quite hard um, to blend if you've got longer nails. So big long nails are a bit of a not so good in the clay modeling world, I think. Now I've kind of made the cheeks a bit bigger there. Let me see that. And I'm just gonna do at the front just near the nose as well. Actually, here's a bit now. I'm just going to use a bit of this. This is called the stone colour. And in fact, I'm just going to put a slight different colour there. Now, the stone's pretty hard as well, so that might be worth putting on the radiator. But I've just got a little bit like this. Just going to break off and squidge. I'm just going to put this right near the front. Does that work? I think it does. It's 
all a bit of trial and error really and uh, hamsters are so they have got all these differences like I was saying like there's so many different varieties of colouring uh, um, you know this is this is my my little hammy hammy the hammy I had was more this colour the light brown so I put on a couple of little bits here to see that and I think I'm just going to put I'm just blending that across as well and my fingers just and underneath as well and I'm just going to get a bit for under the mouth as well under the jaw Mm, yeah, I like this. This has given it different character. Or just given it more character, I should say. Little bit of stone colour. And you've got the dark brown there as well. That might you might want to add a bit of that. There's no um I think I might put a tiny bit of the stone with a tiny bit of the grey and you can kind of blend these together. It takes a bit of lots of just between the fingers just squidging it all up together. That's kind of looks pretty much the grey still. <laughs> I'm just going to put that along the top of his nose. Slight, it is slightly different grey, but only slight. But this is all just um, getting a bit of detail in, or a different bit of character. Different. So you can see a little slight smudging there. This can go up to the nose. Now, okay. Um, so we've got a little like this now. Just gonna, he's looking a little bit short, so I'm just. Gently squeezing him just to make him slightly bigger in the body, only slightly, and then we're going to do a bit of pinching. So I think I'm going to start with the the um, bottom legs. I'm just going to kind of the picture I've got here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But you see, it's only got like you can just sort of see, and he's cute. I remember the cute little feet and hands they have so like really human like aren't they little pink hands so just doing a slight like pinching out a little triangle like this And then we're going to attach a little foot on there. I believe just that I make sure that he's going to sit properly. It's going to go like this just to flatten the bottom a little bit. So it will, when we're done, we know it's going to sit well. And then <clears throat> while I'm doing this, I'm thinking, actually, do you know what? I think I'm just going to give a little on his tummy a different colour. So I'm going to use the stone again. Maybe I'll use... These are like little half tubes. I might use, let's use two of these halves, so one tube. Still got a bit here as well. Like I say, this is a little bit, I'm not gonna worry about the gray so much with wiping my hands, because I want it to be, you know, it doesn't matter too much if it's slightly gray, because it's just, 
and slightly contrasting for the belly. on the top looking at it from different angles you see different things how's that looking yeah cute so flatten that out nice and thin and then I'm just kind of blending it in with my fingers again right here, like this. Oh, he's definitely looking hamsterish now. I think so, anyway. I think he's definitely beginning to get hamsterish. Yes, good, good. Moving. Do, 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 do. Love it. And then I might just put a little bit hmm, just on the tops of the ears while I've got this stone colour out. So I'm just pinching off a little tiny bit like this. And I'm just going to put that on the top of the ear, just on the back, which again, that will just. At the end, we're going to go over the whole thing with a little wire just to give the fur effect. And that will kind of blend into the, the dark and the grey. But I'm just going to see my finger like this. Take your time. It's a little bit delicate. And it's not essential to do this. You could just have grey ears. That's not a problem. Just to get it's a little bit more detail bit more character and I don't know how much time you've got you can either speed up you've got three um, hamsters to do here so you've got a few a good couple of hours work I'd say <laughs> maybe more plus we've got those other colors which you can I put those in so you can do some accessories as well so that's the other, I think I've made that slightly too big, so I'm going to put a bit of grey over the top of that as well. I say there's no right or wrong really, it's just having a play, enjoying it. You can always, see I've got like that bit there, so I'm just going to kind of cover that blending over. Yeah. So it's just looking at your model and working your way. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that now. Oh yeah. So now with I've got about a tube and a third. And I don't, I'd say maybe slightly less than half a tube each. And I'm just going to do the little arms. You've got the little arms at the top. And I'm just going to put these, this one I've got looking at here in the photo. He's kind of got his arms out. You see? <laughs> so, see like this, I'll just put like that. I'm just going to blend that in. Such a cute little animal, isn't it? Oh yeah, I'm really beginning to like this now. See this little arm? I'm going to put another one on the side. You almost can't see on this picture I've got here. His arms just kind of come out of his, the main bit of his body. So I'm just blending, like I said before, just to get it all nice and attached so they don't come off. 
go. Oh, my little hamster. <laughs> right then. Now. It's just getting this stone colour, the belly, a little bit more even. It was slightly over, so I'm just blending it over a bit. So, okay. Now, before I put on, we're going to do the little hands next. And when I was doing this first model of, of um, kind of getting my head around how to do this, when I came to, because I put the hands on, I kind of blocked out the, the belly. So before I do that this time, I'm going to use one of the medium wires and I'm just going to do a bit of fur along. So that's just scratching in like this with the wire. Just to, if you scratch it outwards as well, it will kind of blend into the grey. Quite like that. Yeah, good, good. And once again, happy birthday to Hannah. Hope you're enjoying this, Hannah. If you wanted to send me some photos of your what you what you create with your friends, I'd love to see them. See, I'm just going all the way along. Now, this next bit, doing the hands. The hands are so cute. Now, the reason I don't, um, I've left the head as it is with no eyes at the moment is, I've said in other videos, I think once you add the eyes to whatever you're doing, and paintings I do as well, I think it kind of they come alive and it looks at you and it's kind of like a bit distracting so I like to leave the eyes till the last thing um, right so we're gonna do the little hands so we need our pink again here and it's surprising you don't need much at all actually because they are tiny little cute hands so I'm just gonna pinch off less than a quarter of a tube like this and again just give it a squidge soften it up and we're just kind of until it's into like a little ball and then we give it a little so it's slightly more like a tic-tac shape and then we just press that to flatten it out yeah just like this it's slightly thicker down the bottom but it's like a little round and then what we do this is partly why I put in this tool so you'd have something to do this so we're going to cut like the thumb then finger finger thing so we do thumb one and then we do one, two, three. I just fitted it in there. You see that? Just go over again, just so we've gone right through. Quite fiddly, this bit. You could just have mitten hands like that if you wanted. That would be absolutely fine. So I'm just then peeling them slightly apart. See, we've got like this and kind of squeezing to make like little the ends of the fingers quite fiddly this so like i say don't worry if it's too fiddly then you can always have mitten hands just do that first stage of have a little thumb that's that's the main thing it's going to go over from the other side now as well but they are just so 
human like the little hands so you've got like a little like this I'm going to just fold the fingers in slightly so it's like this maybe ready to grab a sunflower seed in fact I think I've got some sunflower seeds in the cupboard might might have to try that before we finish so with these when you put the hands on the, the thumb bit is always up yeah so I've made my little hand like this can you see that and sort of thumbs there now <clears throat> in your in that little bag with the wires get one of the little thin wires and put that into see that's going into the arm there yeah push it in just up to about there and then I'm just gonna pop on the hand like that <laughs> I'm just gonna slightly bend it down like that push it in slightly Right, and then we do the other hand. Okay, so we get another bit slightly less than a quarter. Squidge it up again. And then press it. A little like this, it's slightly wider on the base, see, and then I just pinch. So this time it's going to have the thumb there. And then one, two, three. Go over it again. Like that. And use my fingers just to straighten them a little bit. Little littlest finger there. Got like a little. And then we we'll use our little wire again. Put that in. You could you could do this without the wires. I think. The hand would stay on into. See here, yeah, and we're just going to put it on to the end there, like that. So, if anything, those hands. They're fine, but I think their hands are even tinier. But it gets into doing the fingers um, get more and more fiddly. So how much have I got here? We're going to do the feet now, which I'm going to do slightly bigger because I think their back feet are a bit, bit kind of bigger. So I'm pinching off a little more pink from there. it all together. May as well do the squidging and then divide into two. So yeah, I've got like a little just gonna squidge this up. Might be too much. Keep the things clean from the grey. Okay. So I'm going to pinch off a little bit more than I did for the hands. And again, this is kind of, you know, there's no right or wrong exactly. I'm making more of a, a sort of diamondy shape. Whether that's right or not, but kind of like that. And then I'm just going to do the outside toe, like the thumb. So 
maybe four, so like that. So actually, it's like like that. Just do a little. And I did when I was looking at one photo. They've got like little little pads on their feet, haven't they? Which might be a little bit too kind of detailed for this little model, but just doing that. I'm gonna before I put that one on, I'm gonna leave it out so I can do the other foot similar. So it's like that. Let's get similar. I don't think we need quite as much. Maybe I've got it lined up here. Off a bit, diamond shape again, like that, and then we'll do the that right similar. One, two, three. Hold it again, just to squeeze the end of the toes to make and we've got two little feet like that and then we'll just is that right? Off the toe and we'll add it to the side. Because it's kind of like the going like this. So like that. So once <clears throat> we're happy, took me a little bit longer to be happy there. And I'm gonna see he's got those little, and I'm gonna kind of blend it on like that. So you see at the bottom there, yeah, that's nice. So it's kind of coming out from put the other one on as well so he's got a bit of I'll put it see the grey going over the top of the foot so it's like his foot's coming out of the fur yes there we go little hands little feet a little tap again looking very cute I think right I think we are almost there with the eyes so I'm happy with those little feet I'm happy with the hands do we do all the fur first do we think maybe we'll do all the fur first now, I've still got a little bit of this grey left do I need that anywhere I'm going to put a little bit just on, see his hands, the join. Just going to put a little bit going on to his hands. So when we just blending over slightly, it's quite.
quite fiddly see there and that will just when I use the wire to do the fur that will just kind of blend into his hands a little bit this goes over like this okay let's go so we're going to go all over now with the little wire this is the medium wire and just kind of all over might want to speed this bit up <laughs> or forward I'm not going to do quite round the face yet until we get those eyes in but you can see the fur is kind of appearing now like this <laughs> going on to the hands what I was saying there I use a little a little thin wire for see the hand there I'm just going to use the wire to just get slightly finer blending Mm. And there's a chin there. So with the arms, I'm going back like this, sort of direction of the fur, if you like that. And then I do coming down. I suppose you you wouldn't have to do this stage. You could just have a nice smooth hamster, but I think it gives another element to it. I think it's a nice finish. But as I say, there's no right or wrong. <coughs> Done sides there. We're just going to do all down the back now. Now, I believe if I remember rightly. Does a hamster have a little tiny tail? If they don't, my one has. <laughs> little tiny tail. Just pop that on. Right, on with the fur. So just going like this. Do, 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 right up to the head. We'll do the ears with the finer wire again. The really thin wire. <clears throat> oh yes. So my hamster. The original one's going to have a friend now, which is nice. Once you've done all three, there'll be a little merry group. And if you've got your friends doing them as well, I think you had seven packs, Anna. So, wow. That's 21 hamsters if you do them all. <laughs> I've just done the top of the head here, then I'm going to use the thin wire just to do tops of the ears here. So you can see all now as I said earlier I think once just do the little see the front 
on the feet now. I'm just going to do the little thin one and do the grey, which is that going on to the. Now it will just kind of bring some of the fur on top of that. Yeah. Right, we're going to do the eyes. So I'm going to use the thick wire here and now I'm going to do the eye here. Just go in like this, just to make an eye socket like that, you see. And then the next one here. Yeah, happy with that. Got two eye sockets. And then you've got your black here. Now, I'm just cutting the fingers again. And I'm just, you don't need much at all for this. So I'm just pinching off a bit of the black, literally a little bit like that. And first, a little squidge. And we're just going to pinch off a little bit like this. Roll it up and see if that's about the right size for our eye socket. And I think it is. In that goes. There's one. I'm actually happier with this one that I've made with you than the one I did in advance. I suppose that's a thing of you learn stuff as you're doing them and you'll you'll improve. You'll think, oh actually it's better to do that with this one. So you can see the two little eyes there. Now on the the snout I'm just going to use a little tiny thin wire there again just to do some little or um, you know for the hair now I was thinking there's nothing I've put in for the whisker whiskers what did I think of you could use if you had any fishing line you could possibly I'm not sure to be honest but you could maybe use a little tiny um, thin wire go in make quite a little hole and because fishing lines quite kind of strong you might be able to just then put a few into into those holes but I don't think it's um, crucial this looks good looks very good I might say Doing a little bit of blending, I notice there. Now, um, on this is is that white or pink? I think that's white actually. Definitely clean your fingers after the using the black. And this is a very tricky little bit. We use um, well, it's not tricky. It's just fiddly. But we just pick off tiny tiny bit of the white see that in my thumbnail there and we're just gonna squidge it again and we're just gonna do that little um bit of light in the eye which gonna, even that tiny bit was too much so i've got a really really i don't think can you see it just about there yeah <laughs> i'm gonna try and cut that in two yeah, I've got one bit there. I'm going to cut again. So you want to get this really tiny. Oh, yeah, I think that's... And then it, see, it's just on my thumb there. If I kind of bring that to the eye and pop it on like that. Yes. Little, little chink of light in the eye, which is lovely. There we go. Now, I do, I am liking that. Um, 
the thing that we could have though is if you blend I've got a tiny bit of black there and a bit of the grey I'm just going to squidge these together and I'm just going to do a couple of little eyebrows I know maybe hamsters don't have exact eyebrows but it just gives more of a character to the face so I'm just gonna take off one little make a tiny little wormy thing like, like that and we'll just put that above the eye And another little bit. Curl it round. Bit fiddly again, but you can do it. Oh, it looks very cute. Separate your finger there. Okay, so we've got. And I'm just going to use one of the little thin wires to just do a little bit of doing the fur on the face as well, because we haven't really done that on the face, but I think that's a nice finishing touch. Yeah, I definitely, this is my favourite out of the two so far. What's going to be your favourite? The terracotta one? I do it down the front of the head as well. So, you can't really see the pink nose and the feet look quite white, but that's my colour camera, it's quite bright with this light. But, there's my little hammy. What will you call your hamster as well? I'd love to know. Um, <clears throat> let's hold them up together. Which one's your favourite? <laughs> they've both got their little character haven't they um yeah definitely i think that ear needs to be more of this one you can always adjust them as well that's the good thing about plasticine two little hamsters one more to go that's the gray one you've got the terracotta you'll have the light brown one as well same kind of principles uh, for each one you could um, you know you could you could have so he's got his pose like that you've got that little heart like I say let's see if we could quickly do this just to show you what you could do to send to a valentine I'm just opening up the arm slightly like this see and then you could have him holding oh, let's open it a bit more like that could have him holding oh that's very cute you could write a little message onto your heart and then have him holding it like that i do love that as well okay well i hope you've enjoyed that happy birthday once again hannah if it's you watching this um i've really enjoyed that actually hope you have as well uh subscribe for more videos on this channel and um all the very best i'll say goodbye for now all the best see you later bye